Uh, like many of mine and Michelle's important business decisions, uh, we just made that one up on the way here. Um, I'd like to dedicate, we would like to dedicate this award to a young man called Ashley McDermott, who we worked with, who last January was released from a two year stretch in Nick. Um, and at that time, he was bet by his probation officer that he'd be back inside within three months. Actually, bet by his probation officer, which is the uh, British criminal justice system doing their best to maintain their fantastic statistics. Um, luckily, Ashley made his way to Liberty, uh, our organisation in Brixton. Uh, where we've been operating for about 10 years. There are 40 of us now, we're, we're heading towards 4 million turnover this year and have been a profit for the last four years. And Ashley is one of a thousand young people who come to our doors and actually got involved in a project which is entirely uh, funded by the music industry, as most of our projects are. Um, uh, and actually took up a job and apprenticeship at one of the major labels. Uh, halfway through his program, Michelle and I were mentoring Ashley because he was a challenge in young man. Um, and he declared to us that he didn't want to work in the record business anymore because it was both morally and financially corrupt. Um, <laughs> so we asked Ashley what he'd like to do. And Ashley said that he'd like to start a talent management business um, because that's certainly where the money's at. You follow the talent and the record industry's moved on. Uh, so we said that we'd cut a deal with Ashley because those apprenticeships are what we get paid for as an organisation, cutting deals with businesses that meet their business objectives and align them with social objectives. That's what social enterprise is all about. Uh, and actually agreed that if we'd mentor him to start his business uh, up, his talent management business, then we were, in, we were in a good place. So we did this. Uh, Ashley's short of uh, talent. He signed one of the other apprentices. Uh, she hadn't never performed before other than on a cosmetics counter at Boots in Birmingham. Uh, but he got her you know, on a few talent uh, shows on radio. He got on a couple of local magazines. He did incredibly well, actually. Uh, and although he finished with Flying Colours, the apprenticeship team, and we got paid, importantly, uh, in January this year, Ashley got that young lady signed to Universal Records for £100,000. Which, in the state of all of our <laughs> is a fantastic achievement. And if any of you know about the contracting industry, it's the music business, uh, it's an even more fantastic achievement. But my favourite part of that entire story uh, is that Ashley called the business anger management. <laughs> And as we were listening to some of the speeches earlier on, if I'm ever looking for inspiration in uh, business and innovation and skills, it's certainly to Ashley's story that I would definitely look. Uh, I think a number of the winners tonight have talked about young enterprise, and right? it's definitely the place we need to be looking forward to. But more than that, and um, very much so with social enterprise, and I would like to thank all of our colleagues at social enterprise for the inspiration they've given us over the years as well. I'm going to say a thank you. Thank you to Ernst & Young and Credit Suisse for putting the spotlight on social entrepreneurs. Thank you to our team at Liberty and the young people we work with every day. Thank you to the judges for seeing our potential. In 2008 we were actually finalists and we lost out, quite rightly, to John Bird of The Big Issue and we pledged on that evening that one day we would be a good enough business to win the Ernst & Young Entrepreneur Awards. So I'm glad we entered this year. Thank you to our fellow finalists. We're all winners every day in our business. And finally, I would like to say thank you to my two husbands. I don't often get to say thank you to my two husbands in public. Uh, firstly, to my home husband, Remy, who's here tonight, who supports and loves me and my daughter and helps me be a working businesswoman and entrepreneur. And secondly, thank you to my work husband, Sam, for unleashing my inner entrepreneur. Fiona, perhaps you just haven't met your Sam Conniff yet. There's still time. It's been a privilege working with you for the last 10 years. And here's to the next 10 years and everything. Thank you.